Hello and welcome to Quell. My name's Will, and what we do here at Quell is we concentrate a lot around the subject of workplace violence. Now, every now and again, I'll do a video, and I do apologise to those that have been asking me, haven't done a video for about a month, and the reason being is, extremely busy. And the only other reason is, is well, nobody wants to do them, only me. But the funny thing is, is that every now and again I'll pick a video, or I'll pick a subject, and something that will pique my interest. And What's piqued my interest a lot lately is the subject around nitrous oxide. Now, a lot of people will go and say they've seen these, a lot of staff say to us they've come across them. There's a plethora of things that people will talk about, even when people have been out telling me they're socialising they've come across these things. The problem we've come across lately is a lot of our clients are starting to see these appear. Now, this is a 640 gram, okay? There's different types, obviously, there's different colours, and they're used for different things. Nitrous oxide, otherwise bracketed as laughing gas. Um, I'll do some more explanation around me as I'm talking to you, and you'll see images and things like that. The interesting thing is, is that when I've talked to clients about this, a lot of them have basically said, I need that laughing gas. But I do also point out, as I've done in other videos, eight years ago I spoke about a risk, which was social media. Four years ago, I spoke a lot about ketamine. And those that know me are watching this are going, yes, I know what Will's on about. I, they've had experience of it. And now we're having this. Um, we are having things interesting enough um, that are happening in the retail sector where staff are telling me they're coming across it in toilets, hospitality, homeless sections I work a lot with as well. They're coming across more and more because it's quite cheap. I mean, you can argue how much this costs. Um, this does 80 large balloons, okay? Yes, um, they, ha they have been using balloons, i.e. they use the gas into the balloon and then obviously breathe out, uh, breathe in, my apologies, the actual gas within the uh, balloon. And therefore that has the effect. It makes them giggles, laugh, giddy, dizziness, some vomit. Um, it actually affects the controlling of the legs so they can stumble and fall and things like that. Apparently that's fun. Okay, but the thing is, is that we're also coming across in hospitality with these larger ones. And, and the large ones are, I'm getting prices from 12 to uh, 12 pounds sterling uh, up to 18 pounds sterling or uh, 15 euros up to 20 euros. It varies obviously on the size, but that's the average of what I'm coming That's the big canisters. The small ones, yes, you'd buy them in batches and things like that. And it does say it's not illegal to purchase. Um, these items, i.e. the gas, it is actually illegal to obviously consume it. And the effects is unbelievable. There is some reported um, incidents uh, that are fatal uh, because of hypoxia, asphyxiation, because the gas affects the lungs, it affects the senses, it stops oxygen getting to the brain. And again, I remind you, I'm not a medical expert. This is what I've been told and read upon. Um, uh, the one thing I got found very interesting recently was I was talking to a doctor I'm not going to name it, and we got on the subject of nitrous oxide because we were talking about injuries to do with an incident. And what I was told made me think: okay, uh, why aren't we teaching this in schools? Why aren't we teaching this in youth clubs? Why aren't we making it more wide and known? But with a lot of detail um, in the actual effects or the after effects of the actual gas is not getting out fast enough. That's why I'm doing the video. But I was told that it can affect the spinal column to a point of where it can affect the actual movement of the legs, the signal to the legs permanently. Now, I'm gonna remind you again, because I always get someone that gets in touch with me and says, are you a medical expert? No, I'm only going off as much information as what you get told. So why am I doing this video? Right. We are having more incidents um, reported to us at Quell to do with incidents related to this gas. And we're getting it all ages. The youngest we've got, talking to one of my team, was eight years old. Now, what do you think about that? Eight years old. I have nephews that are nearly eight years old. And that got goes through my head. But the thing is, is that 
It is a bit of a problem, obviously, in hotels. They're leaving the larger canisters in the hotel rooms when they're checking out, etc., etc. You've got loads of stuff going on in housing at the moment, and obviously, retail is starting to increase the reports we're getting. People going in toilets and cubicles. And what I want to point out is this. Remember, if you have that really serious incident in your establishment, location, organization, whatever you want to call it, we as businesses run on a reputation. That's what we run on. And if we have that fatal incident, how bad will that damage your reputation? Or as a good friend of mine said the other week, if they went into, shall we say, a building or a, a hospitality or retail or whatever that might be, and they use the, the services of the toilet and they, they hear people taking this, it will put them off returning to that location. So, all I'm asking you to do is make sure that you've got your staff informed of this, do more research, um, talk to your staff, make sure they know what to do. If they find something, especially in hotel rooms, uh, retail, hospitality, housing, care sector, I know they're well ahead of this, but again, it's not harming checking on it. What's the harm? Prevention is better than the cure. I know some of you are going to cringe because you know me. Thank you for watching. Please go onto our YouTube channel, have a look around. I've got more videos coming out in the near future. Please go onto LinkedIn where we consistently put up stories. Stay safe, whatever you're doing. Have a great summer and bye for now.